there's people just driving by probably looking out my window thinking, why is she holding bras? Yeah. Hey guys! So today we're going to talk about something a little bit different on my channel, but first, if you're a guy, I would really appreciate if you would just click out of this video. I kind of want this to just be a vulnerable time between me and my girls, and so um, this isn't really a topic that you need to know about or need to hear about my story, so I would really appreciate that for my privacy as I'm posting this on YouTube. Yeah, that's fine. But anyways, today I'm going to tell you my bra journey, or if that's a thing, we're just going to call that a thing. If you can tell, I'm probably a little bit nervous because I just don't usually talk on the internet about my bra you know and all that that sort of stuff. Today I'm just gonna kind of share with you guys um why I don't necessarily wear like a real bra anymore and like what led me to make the decision and now like my experience with doing that because that's something that isn't talked about a lot I don't think. Um, most people just wear a padded bra and they wear bras with wire. In my experience I've just always felt uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable even not necessarily the like the feeling of the bra. I'm just I just felt uncomfortable. I didn't feel confident. I felt fat. I just felt a lot of different things and so I'm just going to tell you my story a little bit about why I stopped. I didn't like have an older sister to talk to about this. I didn't have like YouTube at the time that I could look up because I really didn't know YouTube was a thing. And so I just kind of had to aimlessly wander through life and figure this out for myself, which I'm super glad I did because now I can tell you my experience. And so I guess it all starts off with when I developed a lot quicker than a lot of girls did. Excuse me. <laughs> and so that was a big thing that was a little bit strange to me because I wasn't aware of anything like that. And my mom isn't the type of mom that would talk to me about developing at all because that was more of my dad's side of things because he's a doctor. So I've always felt comfortable talking to him about a lot of things, but I didn't at that age because I was a little tiny little baby child. I was going to a Christian school and this was when I was in middle school and my breasts were developing. And I knew that a lot of times when I would be talking to boys, I could tell they were looking down or I would get comments from the girls saying they were totally looking at you and it just made me feel so sad I was trying to be modest and I was trying to be kind and I didn't want to cause guys to be looking at me not focusing on learning you know and I always got in trouble more than other girls like if I broke dress code just a little bit I would always get caught and the other girls with smaller breasts never did and I always felt like people were out to get me because of my body and I can't change my body like this is my body and this is what God gave me and yet people are mad at me for my body and so then I started being mad at me for my body did that make sense? I think so. It got to a point where I would go shopping and I would just cry because I hated shopping because I couldn't find um, a bathing suit to fit me. I couldn't find um, clothes that would fit me correctly on the top because it, like when you're a kid, when you're younger, the clothes aren't necessarily styled with girls with bigger boobs that are still small everywhere else. So I just always felt frumpy. I felt strange. I felt like I didn't fit in. I felt like there wasn't a place for me in the world. You know, then all those small little feelings, they just like expand and they grow super big. Um, and then I didn't feel comfortable anymore because then I knew the first thought in my head was, oh my word, he's looking at me. And like, I couldn't wear tighter shirts then either because I always felt like, oh no, now they're looking at me. Even even though I'm covering up everything and I'm wearing a t-shirt, they're looking at me and they're, they're thinking bad things about me. And it just made me feel really uncomfortable. So then I got to eighth grade. I just turned 13 in the summertime. So eighth grade comes and the whole year, I'm pretty sure there's a couple times I didn't, but the whole year I wore this one sweater. And that was all I did was this big base sweater. I'm actually sitting on it right now, it's right here. I'm, I'm sitting on this little stool thing where the sweater. It's a big sweater. It's my volleyball sweater. And I would wear that because I felt more comfortable. No one would look at me. I could be myself and I could just be Tabitha without wearing what anybody was, you know, thinking. But now I've learned throughout the years, girls, listen, you want to be modest. I know that. But also, it is not your fault. Um, the guys have the ability to control themselves and avert their eyes. I was trying super hard and I shouldn't have put all of that on myself, but I didn't understand. Oh, oh, so then let me get to how I got stopped wearing these bras. So this is like a normal bra. Um, it's like padded. It has wire and, and I I, even this bra has the like the smallest amount of padding because even when before I was winding off of a bra I still wanted my bra to have little padding no push-up I couldn't wear push-up I hated myself when I wore push-up my friends all wore push-up and I was just like why are you wearing push-up I don't understand you have small boobs like just enjoy them I started wearing these bras and I I think the garbage trucks here I'm playing my jeans <laughs> guys stop fighting they were having a play date, but they obviously can't get along. Back to my story. So, way that I stopped wearing a bra, right? When I say I don't wear a bra, I wear these type of bras. I wear fabric bras. Um, bras that don't have padding. It's literally just one little piece of fabric. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. It's one little piece of fabric. Um, I love, I love this. Like, I have never felt so confident. I have never felt so beautiful. And like, 
maybe that's a part of the whole girly thing like the feminine the lace maybe but um anyways so i'm getting off topic let me go where was i hmm. oh right one of the things i think that really sparked this change was i was kind of with this guy and um him and his friend had this nickname for me and they would call me iraq all of a sudden i found out and that really hurt me and i remember when he told me he thought it was funny and i was really like this isn't funny like this really upsets me especially because it was an insecurity um like people can make fun of me for something that isn't like an insecurity so like if people make fun of i dyed my hair blonde that's not an insecurity for me because i love that my hair is ombre blonde anyway so then that got me started to thinking you know what I'm done. <laughs> I'm done wearing a bra. So it actually started where I found this one bra at Abercrombie & Fitch and it was a small little lace bra and I wore it every single day. Because there's not padding, I understand how people feel like a little bit not so comfortable in these bras. So what I did was I would wear a black tank top everywhere. So I would wear this bra, I'd wear a black tank top, and then I'd wear a shirt like this. And then I felt super great about myself. And then it was also awesome because then I could raise my hands up with my belly button wouldn't show if I wore like a crop shirt to school or something like that because you know, dress code. But anyways, I'm just like flinging my bra on camera. This is hilarious, 2018 guys. I hope like adults don't look at this video and think, what is she doing? This is all out of love. This is about teaching people to love themselves, but also how to be modest and then feel comfortable Comfortable in the body that God has given them because like I said I did not feel comfortable at all and I it's like the thing that people want I felt ugly for having isn't that crazy isn't that so strange how the way that our mind can just deviate us like whatever but um so I started wearing this and I would do the tank top thing and then it just got to a point where I was so much more comfortable because this stretches and then it like I don't know it's just the cutest thing I just feel so happy and then the other big part of why I made this change was because um, in like 2016 the style of clothes that I wear look best on girls that have petite chest and so I felt so happy when I would try on shirts then when I was shopping because I actually looked good in these shirts but before I would be super busty and like I wouldn't look good the shirt and shirts that my friend could wear I couldn't wear and I was so upset because I was like I love that shirt why can't I wear that you know so it made me so sad so now I'm able to do that I'm able to if I wore the shirt with a big bra it would be like and then people could see down the crack of my shirt and obviously I don't want to do that because I'm shorter and so guys are usually taller than me most likely I mean I don't think I've met a guy that's shorter than me unless he's like 12 but whatever <laughs> and so if that's the case I don't want I don't want to be like that to guys I don't want guys to look at me like that I want guys to see me I want them to see Tabitha I want them to have fun with Tabitha I want them to laugh at my jokes and not be thinking about other things while they're talking to me and not getting to know me and getting to know my body when this they should not be getting to know my body only my husband should get to know my body that is a whole nother conversation Woo, Tabitha okay so now I'm going to talk about like where you can get your bras. I get my tank tops from Aeropostale. Um, they're like $4 and I get the ones that have no padding in them. It's just the plain black tank top, which I love. Um, and then my most recent find is this bra. I got it at Aerie. Um, I love this bra. It was $16, which is fantastic. Super comfortable. You can adjust the straps, right? So you can make it. And plus the color is super cute. So I love this. And then uh, this was the other one I got. Um, this is so cute to have like popping out of the shirt or the sweater that you're wearing. Um, I also got this one at Aries, so you can probably still find these right now. This was also $16. Then you don't have to worry about the wire. You don't have this tight strap that's like... Guys, I don't think I've worn a real bra for like two years now. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Or maybe three. This has all helped me become a more confident person. So if we can put this in perspective, um, please... Boys, if you're watching it, leave now. And I'd really appreciate it if you're not listening to this because I don't want your minds wandering anywhere. Please, if you've now you've heard my story and know how I feel about guys thinking about me like that. So please leave. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> but um, so in Victoria's Secret size, I am a 32D and I'm verging on double D. But when I wear a non-padded bra, it's just I feel like it's my normal breasts. It's like there's nothing extra, it's just me. I think it brings me down to like a B or a C, which obviously is so cool. I know this isn't for everyone. Um, This is just something I love and works really well for me and my body and I know the people that were talking at school, you know, had the best intentions and they just wanted to help us to help the guys and they wanted us to be aware of ourselves and the way that we're presenting our bodies, which I think is really fantastic because I think a lot of times with our generation as we're growing up, all we see are these beautiful models, right? And they're not usually wearing a lot of clothes and we think to compete with them, we have to wear the same thing that they're wearing. But if you think about it, if this is somebody that you're dating or you're wanting to be with for the rest of your life, or if you're dating them right now and you want them to like you for you, 
they're not going to like you for you if they're only focused on your body. They're not going to be able to get to know you. They're not going to be able to see the funny girl that does this thing or the girl that does this and laughs a certain way. And You know what I mean? Like, they're not going to see that girl because they're too preoccupied. If all you're doing is physical things. You're going to miss out on the beautiful things of having a relationship and going on adventures. And so I just want to encourage you with that because there is another side of it and you don't have to just show your body off to find love. You don't have to just be an icon for boys to look at because that's not who you are. That was not who you were created to be. If I could give a word of advice out there, this isn't something that I'm telling people to do. So like, make sure you guys take it or leave it. If you feel this is in your heart for you, then take it. If not, just get rid of it. So the thing I've learned in my life with this whole situation is like, for me, I used to wear um, a bikini and then all of a sudden something clicked in my mind where I realized, no, I feel so much more beautiful wearing a one piece. I have no idea why, no clue. Oh my word, I can't wait till summer I can do like a one piece like swimsuit collection, they're so cute. I got some from England, I'm super excited. But anyway, that is like, okay, time them. <laughs> Everybody goes through things differently. People are in different stages of the pyramid of like self-development and growth and stuff like that. And so in saying all that, this is something that people just figure out on, on their own and you come to a realization and I just came to a realization that I feel more beautiful wearing a one piece than a two piece. I feel more confident wearing a one piece than a two piece and that's not a bad thing. And it's not like I'm throwing shade on anybody that wears a bikini like my best friend wears a bikini. It's just something that you'll come to discover inside of yourself and you'll start thinking about it and then you realize you think about it and then you actually like start doing it and you feel so like proper and like wow, like this is so cool. I didn't know this side of me. I didn't know I could do that. And then you start becoming a leader and your friends start to look up to you and then you start to like start this new revolution, not bras. No, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions or anything that I can help you with down below or any other topics you want me to talk about. Um, since I'm putting my bra out there, might as well put other things out there, you know what I mean? <laughs> my mom and dad are gonna watch this. <laughs> Oh goodness gracious. Anyways, just remember that you can't please everyone. You can't make everybody happy. And so do the best to be yourself and to be confident in that and work in that direction and, you know, find out more of your identity in Christ and all that fun stuff. And I think you'll be a lot happier with yourself and a lot happier in the life that you're living. Make sure you subscribe so I can see you in my next video because I really would love that. I'm super excited that my YouTube community is kind of growing a little bit. So yay! <laughs> okay, bye guys.